I think some Lil Wayne fans might be thinking, fuck C5, because it doesn't even seem like that shit is gonna happen. What's up everybody? It's Luke James, not the singer. If you're an indie artist looking for an album review and some promo, you can hit up Luke at redmattersite.com. And what I have for you boys and girls today is an indie track review for General Hodge's track, Fuck C6, You I. Now, General Hodge is a rapper from Albany, New York, but he's currently working out of Atlanta, Georgia. And if you want to find out more about him and see his full bio, information about his C6 Music Collective, peep his music, all that good stuff, just take a look at the information box underneath this video. Now, the first thing you got to realize about this track is that it's a diss response. You see, like I said, Hodge is part of a music collective called C6, and they have some haters out there who were talking shit, saying fuck C6, and making diss tracks. So, Hodge decided to respond to them, and he does it over Kendrick Lamar's instrumental from the song Hood Politics. It all starts off with Hodge on the phone with Dreamer saying that he's about to go in, and then he does go in with his very harsh and aggressive style, and I actually reviewed one of his projects quite a while ago, his Dirty Mixtape, and that shit was fire, so I'll post that link at the top of the comment section to make sure you guys peep it, because that was really dope. Now as for the lines in this song, he does have some clever shit going on. He says that he's going to Tyron Lou people because he's like Allen Iverson and he doesn't need practice, so if you don't understand that shit, that's a reference to Allen Iverson who crossed up Tyron Lou, hit a sweet jumper, and then stepped over top of him. Just the utmost disrespect. And of course there's that interview where Allen Iverson says he doesn't need to practice, man. He loves the game, but what the hell is practice going to do for him? And I think General Hodge really came through with a solid diss here, but it's kind of hard to, you know, be fully invested in a diss track like this unless you've been following the whole thing. Like, to the average person who hasn't heard of General Hodge or has heard about this beef or all this shit that's going on, you're not going to really be able to fully take in what's happening here because you just don't know, you know what I mean? It's not like Drake and Meek where we've seen this shit unfold over the months or really like a year or so by now, and you know you've gotten diss tracks going back and forth, heard different stories, etc. Not to really try to compare some indie artists to, you know, two guys who are way up there, but I think you get what I mean. It's hard to get into a diss track when you haven't really followed the whole thing, and like I said, you're not fully invested. But overall, I think this is still a really solid track. Hodge has a nice delivery and some really nice flows, especially at the end when he gets on that rapid fire shit, and it was a nice touch to throw in that fuck C6 chant at the end. It's pretty cool how they took something that was negative and made it into a positive. And not only that, I think it was also nice to see the confidence he had all over this track, especially at the end when he let the haters know that if you don't want this shit to happen to you, don't do this shit again, and don't hate on C6. So I thought this was pretty cool. It does sound good. I give it a 3.5 out of 5. And make sure you do all that good YouTube and social media stuff, man, where you like my videos, you share them, you follow me on Twitter, you retweet the videos, and you especially subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching, everybody. I'll see you next time.